Are you having a problem with your leads? Like right now, the leads that you're being given, you may believe that they're trash because no one's in the market, no one's shopping for whatever it is that you sell, and none of them even qualify, right? Or maybe you have this, uh, this hidden embarrassment or deep down inside, you have this hidden fear of cold calling and generating business, what we like to call prospecting, right? Like outbound dials and, and, and calling people to see if they happen to be in the market to buy your services. If you're having an issue with that, man, I got the solution for you. So you're gonna wanna stick around for the entire video because I'm going to cover those two challenges. This is what you call a flip. 10 keys from a car to brick. Bentley from his mama whip. K-O-D, he hard as Welcome back, my name is Daniel. This channel is called Sales Remastered. It is a channel that's designed for individuals who are in sales, and I believe we're all in sales, but if you happen to do sales for a profession, then this channel is designed for you. On here, you're gonna find content that's gonna help you increase your production, enhance your hustle, and step up your game. Not only for a profession, but also for your own personal development, mindset techniques, and definitely different coaching within the realm of, of work working in an environment where you got to keep yourself motivated. You got to maintain a strong mindset because without those two things, you're simply not going to generate the income that makes it worthwhile to be in this profession. <laughs> My name is Daniel and I'm your host. And on this episode, we're going to talk about two main challenges that is most relevant today. And that is lead generation and also the fear of cold calling. So the reason why I chose these two is because I'm currently putting together a sales boost camp. It's like a boot camp, but I like to call it boost camp because it's it's meant to help boost your momentum. It's meant to help boost your production, boost your income, and boost your morale. So that way you can find yourself making the income that makes this profession worthwhile. So first off, the very first topic I want to cover is cold calling. And the reason why is because I think cold calling is something that every good salesman needs to know how to do. But the irony is though, is that there's just so much fear around the topic. You see, the reason why people fear cold calling is because it's actually fear of rejection. It's fear of looking dumb. It's fear of saying the wrong thing or being caught off guard. Sometimes it's the fear of another person hearing you maybe like someone in the next cubicle or someone within your office or you have fear of maybe your calls are being recorded and you don't want to sound dumb and maybe your sales trainer plays them in front of the class and you don't want to be you know what I mean you don't want to be the example right and so I get where you're coming from but at the end of the day until you actually overcome that fear you're never gonna grow you're never gonna progress into the salesman that you want to be and in my opinion I think that we all join sales because of the freedom in how much income we can generate so in other words if we have the ability to generate business we grow equity in ourselves meaning we can we have this ticket and this ticket enables us to join any company that we ever want right any company like literally and the reason why is because because in every company sales is the only department that's not a cost to the company Sales is actually, well, typically, right? But unless you're weak, and then if you're weak, then they view you as a cost. And this is why you get written up. This is why you get those one-on-ones. This is why they, you know, let you go. Or, you know, if you've had a job over the last, let's say, I'll use two years, over the last two years, and you see salesmen who haven't been able to hold a job for longer than three to six months, that's a clear sign that that person just needs to take some time to develop their craft or study their craft. But you would be amazed how many people do not invest time to develop a skill that actually generates the income that they're there to begin with, right? And so in this episode, I hope to help you generate that skill and develop the right mindset to to overcome this challenge. So going back to the topic of cold call, cold calling in itself, in my in all of my years of experience, I've been doing sales for over 20 years. In my experience, I have never, ever, ever, ever been or met anyone who has ever been hurt cold calling. <laughs> no one's ever been socked through the phone. No one's ever been, 
you know what I mean, strangled through the phone. No one's ever been, like, they could have been threatened, right? Like, I'm going to report you or, or man, get the, you know, don't ever fucking call me and then, and then be called rude names or, or be degraded or, you know what I mean, be ridiculed or be made fun of. But it's a, it's someone that you don't even know. They don't know you. And so if you're, if, if that in itself is why you do not cold call, or is, is why you do not take a step outside of your comfort field to do the very one skill that makes you a solid salesman to begin with is it, 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 it's a different issue. It's a different challenge. It's because you're too caught up in the opinions of others. You're too caught up with how you're perceived. But at the end of the day, boo-boo, it's natural, right? It's, it's completely natural to be to be fearful of what people think of you. This is why we dress the way we dress. This is why we like the brands that we like because we want to be put inside of a class that's viewed at as successful, that's viewed at as cool. No one wants to be the failure. No one wants to be the person that doesn't make any money, right? No one wants to be that weak salesman. And so if you stick around to add Sales Remastered and you follow the content, you go check out the Sales Remastered University, you're going to have the tools that are going to help you avoid being a weak salesman. If anything, you're actually going to help fast track yourself to become one of the best. And so my takeaway here on cold calling is that it's natural to be scared. It's natural to fear rejection. But I need you to understand one thing. Without failure, without rejection, without humility, without without being you know I mean ridiculed or judged, you're never going to develop the thick skin that you need to continue going past it because those things are going to happen all the time. It's it's going to be part of your life, <laughs> especially if you join in sales. But here's the thing, and I'm a curse, right? Because I feel very passionate about this. Who gives a fuck about what that fucking stranger thinks of you? All that person is was a contact. You see, the definition of a lead is just someone who might be interested in what you got to what you got to sell, what the services that you provide, the solutions that you that you give, right? And so that in itself is a lead. But the perception in today's society, in today's sales atmosphere, is that a lead is supposed to buy. Like a lead, as if that lead, which is a person, right? And that person has no capability to compare you towards other companies. Or that person doesn't feel like you when you get a cold call from a salesman, right? You know, yesterday, uh, just last night, about 8, 10 p.m., someone knocked on my door. I'm like, who is this, right? So I opened the door, and it's some young Filipino kid, man. He's walking around selling termite services. Man, I got nothing but respect for that hustle, but at the end of the day, yo, man, it's it's a little late. What you knocking on my door? Get off my porch, man. Get out of here, right? So I told my mom, hey, man, no, it's okay. We got it covered. And he's like, oh, okay, yeah, no worries. Who are you covered by? You know, I'm like, oh, you know what? My wife handles all that. Yeah, I, I forgot the name of the company. And he's like, oh, okay, well, and they start going to his pitch. I'm like, hey, bro, look, I, I appreciate your hustle, right? Because you always want to respect people who are who are on their climb. So I got no disrespect towards that man because this person is out there. He's hustling. He's making the fucking moves. He's out there at eight o'clock knocking on doors with a big ass smile on his face. That person's going to win. And the reason why I know this is because a lot of people are too caught up in their heads and be like, oh man, they're not going to buy. It's eight o'clock. <laughs> this dude didn't give a fuck. And so I want us to use that example as a way to to kind of approach these these prospects. So the next time you're cold calling and you're wondering if you're going to get rejected, who gives a fuck? Because until you get rejected, you're not going to learn the the steps of how not to do it. <laughs> so if anything, you're going to want to get rejected. You're actually going to want to invite that shit. You're going to want to embrace the ridicule. You're going to want to embrace the objections. Because once you understand that you get that response, if you approach it this way, it's very much like, um, man, what's a good example? It's very much like uh, like going on your first date, right? Everything is scary at first because you're overthinking it. So when you start your first day at the job or when you go on, the, on a date for the very first time or when you go in for a kiss for the very first time, if you remember those things, it was always awkward. And the reason why it was awkward is because we were too caught up in ourselves. We didn't want to be embarrassed. We didn't want to be rejected. We didn't want to make a fool of ourselves. And so the same thing applies when cold calling, but we need to understand if you don't 
don't if you don't move in for a kiss or you don't you don't ask for that date, you're never going to go on a date. You're never going to get the end result that you're trying to get to. You're never going to get or reach the destination that you want to get. And so if you're on this channel, you're like, yo, D man, man, I got fear of cold calling, but I want to make hundreds of thousands of dollars. I want to I want to have the financial freedom that I see all these good salespeople, you know, are experiencing right now. How do I get there? man, the number one most valuable tool that you can learn is how to generate your own business, how to be so, how to be self-efficient. And so the next time you go into cold calling, I want you to understand that you cannot get hurt. You cannot be, you know what I mean? You cannot be reported, right? For, for asking, unless that person is on do not call list and they told your company, <laughs> you know, remove my number, then that's probably the only time that you can actually be reported or fined or whatnot. But don't worry about it, right? Most companies, they go, they go above and beyond to screen out that information because you represent them. And so use the tools and, and the capabilities that your CRM or your dialer gives you and go into it fearless because that person don't know you. They're, they're not gonna see you later, right? They're not gonna talk to your mom or dad. They're not gonna, you know what I mean, chat with your closest friends. The moment you hang up that phone, they forgot you. And you should do the exact same. You should forget them. Because if anything, you want to get through that grind. You wanna go through that, that uh, challenge or that fear because only after you go through it does it become uh, 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 more, kind of familiar, right? And so even even when you go through and you get knocked down a couple times, or you get rejected a couple times, you're actually learning of how to do it the right way because no one starts good, right? Like it's very rare someone will start a um, you know, like a cold call campaign and just kill it and just smash it. Everyone goes through it. You're just you're just simply you know, refining your craft, you're, you're molding your technique. And if you need help cold calling, I got this fire cold call script right below. It's called Banker's Script. And whatever you sell, whether it's financial services or you sell a tangible product, get that cold call script. On that script, it's also going to give you links to all my other social media channels. I would appreciate the support if you go check those pages out and, you know what I mean, give a shout out, maybe maybe find a post that you like or when you do come across a post you like, tag somebody that could also use the information that I share. The information that I share is all real. You know, if you could tell, this is not scripted. This is straight from the heart. I ain't got nothing to hide from you. If anything, you know, your comments and your, your timestamps in the comments below actually help the community and others who follow across this, this, uh, this channel for the content, right? And it helps them. So do me one solid and make sure you hit the subscribe, hit that bell, comment below, and always, always, always remember, you can't get hurt cold calling. If anything, you can only grow into the salesman you want to be by being the absolute best at cold calling. So go check out the script and I'm going to help you ease those fears. Now, the second thing is, uh, man, I forgot the name. <laughs> I'm telling you, it's all free stuff. Oh, yeah. Um, besides cold calling and uh, lead generation. Oh, leads. So if you got an issue with your leads right now, if you ever find yourself saying, man, these leads are garbage, man, man, I wish I just had some leads that qualify. Again, the definition of a lead is just someone who might be interested in what you have to buy. Ultimately, it's just, it's helping you kind of filter out through all the contacts. So let's say you got a contact list of 10 people, right? A lead is just basically filtering out those 10 people for you in order to give you a name who may be interested in what you have to buy. And so, and so that's it. So, so if you have an issue with your leads, now you have a solution because I'm giving you a script of how to generate your own leads. And so now you're not reliant on a dialer. You're not reliant on, you know, uh, a company to give you your leads, but more importantly, you're, you're removing that excuse from your brain and your perception of saying, oh, but these, if only this company had better leads, I would be killing it. <laughs> it ain't the, <laughs> it ain't the leads, boo boo. It ain't the person's attitude who, you know what I mean? The prospect's attitude is your attitude. It is, it is the way you approach the situation, right? And so sometimes we all wait for that one deal to fall in our lap, but we fail to realize that we have the capability and the technology and the resources to make them fall in our lap. And so we can attract them towards us. But how do we attract them towards us? So so method number one, 
is understand what it is you sell. Understand your solution. Does your solution affect anybody and everybody, right? And so my solution is that I sell money. That's how I look at it and that's why I have no fear in approaching anyone about the topic that I, you know, the subject or I'm sorry, the service that I give. And so if you give me a list uh, uh, of, of leads and has and I'm able to understand the criteria and the CRMs are so advanced, right? Like you can go through your portfolio leads, you can go through your inactivated leads. In some way, shape or form, there's a campaign right now in your CRM of inactivated leads. Just because it was inactivated by Joe Schmo don't mean that it's not a good lead. Joe Schmo just probably don't know how to sell. And so you want to reap off that benefit because no one's looking at that. Or if you have this, um, you know, like departed agents or, or if you have access to portfolio leads like trigger leads or past clients or your own past clients, those are money. That's how you generate referrals, right? Like you call your past clients or you, you answer the phone and even though you can't help that person, like let's say that lead was garbage, you want to still make a good impression because what happens is when you make a good impression at some point that person's going to be ready to buy and if you made a good enough impression they're going to remember you and come back to buy you see a lot of people plan for a sprint when this this sales game is a marathon you need to invest in yourself so invest in yourself today by learning how to cold call because that's going to solve the second issue of generating your own leads so you got a problem with leads boo boo then go do something about it start now download the banker script sales the banker script link below you're going to want to use your personal email. Your work email will probably spit it back. And I get it all the time. Like, hey, man, I requested the, um, the sales script, but it, you know, I, I can't find it. And the reason for that is because people are using their company email address. And that company email address quarantines it. It doesn't put it in your junk mail. It just, it just doesn't even accept it. So use your personal email address. Check out the script. It's absolutely free. And I've been using it for years. And it's been very effective with, with uh, breaking breaking down the resistance and the guard of individuals who are supposed to fear salesmen, who are who love to reject salesmen, who hate salesmen, who just want to know what the price is, who just want the free service, who just wants the lowest rate. It is designed for those individuals and it is designed for 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 efficiency so that the salesman can get straight to the center of what exactly that prospect is looking for and can carefully manufacture the solution in the words that that prospect gives. That's my gift to you. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Again, please uh, subscribe, hit the bell, and comment with a timestamp of what your favorite part of this video was. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Yeah, you so my out the bottom. I'ma lose my money in it. Crazy, I'ma do a little obligato.